twice in the 20th century. This was the World Cup final itself. They have been great, and right now they gather to remember the life of another great sportsman, Pietro Menea. Italy's Olympic 200-meter champion at the 1980 Moscow Games has just died at the age of 60. An iconic Italian sportsman. He held the world record for 17 years until Michael Johnson broke it in 1996. Silence for him. And so to the game, a game which through the years has produced some of the most memorable, magical images football has ever produced. It speaks of Pele and Del Piero, Rossi, Romario, Ronaldo. They are always big boots which Brazilians have to fill. Sixty-four weeks from now, Thursday, June the 12th, 2014, Brazil will launch its own World Cup. Italy, beyond all reasonable doubt, will be there as one of the leading European contenders. And here they meet in what is uh, a mouth-watering prelude to that. A little more than a year to go, but uh, already a taste is developing for what the world can expect in South America in the summer of 2014. These two will meet again before that at the Confederations Cup in Brazil this summer. So, uh, this is a, a contest which can be perceived as a pointer. An early ball lifted forward towards Sir Pablo Osvaldo, who's face to face with Luis here. Osvaldo against Luis, who could hurry out of trouble, but uh, was close to dashing into it as he met uh, De Rossi on the edge of the penalty area. A forceful start from the uh, Italians who haven't beaten Brazil since 1982. One of the great games of the uh, Spain World Cup of that year in Barcelona, the Rossi hat-trick. Here's Hulk with uh, the shot that lacked force and provided a little by way of challenge for uh, Julio Cesar. Luigi Buffon in the uh, Italian goal. Montalivo. It's a good ball for Giaccarini, who's drawn the first save of any note from Julio Cesar. He is a little dasher and darter. He's capable of finding space and worrying a fullback. And Giaccarini has certainly concerned the Brazilian keeper here. Getting ahead, both of Osvaldo and Balotelli, and winning the game's first corner. Repelled as far as Montalivo. Taken up by Pirlo. Montalivo. High from Osvaldo. And then behind Bonucci, who uh, got forward for the corner and now has to uh, get back with. Equal speed as uh, Oscar threatens. Only dealt with by Barzali. Hernanes. Felipe Luis of uh, Atletico Madrid. Dante of Bayern Munich. Luis of Chelsea. And then Alves of Barcelona. Fernando. And Hulk. And, uh, well, just beyond Neymar. Not an accurate from Fred of uh, Fluminense. His fourth year back in Brazil. In terms of his domestic club football after four years in uh, Lyon. Three times French champion. Oh, 
by Hernanez. The uh, referee is Swiss. That is Stefan Studer, 37 year old. His last couple of uh, Swiss domestic league games have been eventful. Between them, the last two games have included two red cards and three penalties. De Rossi. Maggio. Be a game of particular consequence to Pablo Osvaldo, given that he is uh, Argentine born. And that's with the football rivalry between Argentina and Brazil needs no further expansion. Here is Hulk looking to receive from Neymar, whose hit is repelled with good force by Jean Luigi Buffon. This is the boy they're all looking at right the way around the world. Neymar of Santos. Just about all of the well-heeled major European clubs would love to have a piece of him. He's one of those who glides over the turf and gets uh, plenty behind his strike. Felipe Luis. Hernanes, game for him too, given that uh, he plays his football in Serie A with uh, Lazio, so he'll be well known to most of those against whom he plays now. Dani Alves, away from Montalivo, he recovered his ground and the ball. De Rossi, Balotelli, bitten at by Hernanes, dispossessed by a retreating Hulk. But uh, awarded the free kick. Forward by De Rossi, and it came to Balotelli who hit it first time. And Julio Cesar flung out a leg and diverted it behind for a corner. What a very good start to the game. Busy goalkeepers at either end inside the first six minutes here. Second important save that uh, Julio Cesar's had to make. Balotelli took that clean first time. Pirlo's corner behind by Alves for another one. Pirlo. Keeps on going. 33 years old now, Andrea Pirlo of Juventus and latterly Milan. And again, Balotelli, awkward for Danny Alves, it's uh, not perceived as a back pass. He got there though because uh, Osvaldo was over his shoulder. And one by Fred, distributed by Fernando, Alves, Neymar. Hernanes, Felipe Luis, Oscar. Let's put the difference between Neymar and the uh, back post. Oscar, as well as uh, David Luiz, will be looking forward to Brazil's next game, which is on their home club ground at uh, Stamford Bridge, Chelsea, on Monday against Russia. Fernando, Hernanes, 
Pepe Luis. Hulk. And again for Fernando. In by Felipe Luis. Kept alive by Hulk, but uh, he's well dispossessed by uh, Martina de Chilio. For whom it could hardly have been a more glamorous international debut. Pirlo. Maggio. Palatelli. It's a clever ball for Pirlo. Moved on towards Osvaldo. And it's well read by Julio Cesar. He's had a, an up and down season in the Queen's Park Rangers goal. There's been days when he's been inspired, almost invincible. For a team that lost a crucial game in the English Premier League at uh, Aston Villa last weekend. It's Park Rangers right at the bottom. Oscar. Fanny Alves. Rossi. Montalivo. Pirlo. Maggio. De Rossi. Pirlo. It's broken for Jacarini. He has it nicked off his toe by Danny Alves. Neymar. Went early for uh, Oscar, who in any case had wandered offside. For uh, Luis Felipe Scolari, a second game back in charge of Brazil. He led them at Wembley to defeat last month. Since leading them to the World Cup in 2002, he's been in charge of Portugal and Chelsea. He's been in charge of uh, Bunyod Kaur in Uzbekistan and Palmeiras back home in Brazil. Balotelli and Chacarini. But there is no greater managerial responsibility in global football and that afforded the man who will take charge of Brazil at a Brazilian World Cup. That is what lies ahead of Scolari. Hulk. Danny Alves. by Hernanes, without uh, force or threat. And just his ninth cap tonight in uh, a pretty inexperienced and relatively youthful Brazilian midfield, certainly in terms of the uh, deeper positions where he partners Fernando. He's been in uh, really good shape for Lazio, who are seventh in Serie A just now, just Seven points behind the Champions League places. Until he's shaken off it by Danny Alves. Hulk. Looking pretty disenchanted, but he'll come to life again now. Balotelli, who can run at Luis. Balotelli shapes one a foot wide. Fire a deflection. No player in the major European club game in better scoring form than Balotelli right now. He has. Seven goals in his six games for Milan since joining them from Manchester City. Right on fire. Believing he can score from anywhere and possibly, but for the start of Luis, he might have scored then. It's Pirlo's corner, Luis away. Clever from Oscar, much, much too clever for Montalivo. His challenge was uh, a needs must. 
And were it not a friendly, I suggest Stefan Studer might well have taken his name. Paul not even in the picture. He was so late. Dante. Hernanes. Something of... Uh, He's picking on uh, Oscar. This time it's Maggio who's caught him. Dani Alves. hoping for a, a relatively quiet night given that this is a, supposed to be a non-competitive game and he's been informed pretty early that that may not be the case there are some very competitive challenges here's a Jacarini arms way by Felipe Luis now passed, still no goal. That's plenty of hints that goals may well follow. So the two well-occupied goalkeepers. Osvaldo. Dante got a bit of it. Osvaldo got it back. And then nearly spooned it in to uh, Julio Cesar. Hulk. Danny Alves. Fernando. Hernanes. Oscar. Adventurous run from uh, Felipe Luis. All the way from a left full back for Brazil. Who's Fullbacks have always been inclined to get a long way forward as uh, Danny Alves fell there by Montalivo. Illustrates well. Barcelona boy wiggling one hit, then the other, dropping one shoulder, then the other. Montalivo fairly seemed to take the ball. How far advanced Felipe Luis is there. It was a good read by Christian Maggio. Right, his 125th Italian cap leaves him one behind Paolo Maldini, who's in second spot in that table with 126. Cavaro still out front with 136. It's a pretty hefty hit from Fernando. You might not have had it at the front of your queue to strike it. And a 21-year-old from uh, Gremio. Hulk was poised. Fernando appeared over his shoulder. It's too far wide. Oh, he's been caught. Does he go on without him? There's Balotelli. And the header is wide for Osvaldo. Clever ball in from Balotelli and a brave header from uh, Osvaldo given the height of Dante's foot.
with three goals in his first seven games for the Italian national side. Discomforted by Osvaldo. Drawing a foul from him. Strong look from the referee. So the ball had very little to do with the challenge. by Tierlo. Chilio afford Brazil to throw. Well, this is a, a very good tackle by Montalivo. No question he took the ball that time. And foul on uh, Baratelli. Montalivo's been uh, involved in the fair bit of what rough stuff there has been over the first 20 minutes but there was a, a lovely cleanness of challenge from him then to Rossi Masani Osvaldo kept by Pirlo aim forward for Maggio onside and Julio Cesar has come out and smothered really very well Talk about the adventure of Brazilian fullbacks. Well, nobody's got further forward in the game so far than Christian Maggio for uh, Italy from the fullback position. Face to face with Cesar. He made himself a big target and was duly hit. People will find the colours and wear them for the glamour that they uh, bestow on anyone who chooses to take them on. There's nothing quite like Brazil. Neymar and Hulk. For the last off Maggio. Oscar. 
pass from Montalivo. Back to Chilio. Back to him from Balotelli. by Fernando. Nice take from Hulk. Aimed it early towards Fred. Missed entirely by uh, Bonucci. Came to Dani Alves. And, uh, that's a splendid read by the young fullback to Chilio. He's making quite a name for himself with Milan this year. Still only 20. Challenged by Luis at the back of Balotelli. Hulk. Felipe Luis. Hernanes. Good start to Chilio. Came to Fernando. Looked on towards Neymar. Fernando again. Hulk. Turned by Bonucci. Pirlo ran into a corner sack but found a way out of it. Brazil's form just either side of Christmas has uh, dipped after what was a terrific, terrific European autumn for them. They won the first six matches of this European season, but they failed to win the last three. They uh, drew against Colombia in New York last November, and then lost where they least like to lose in Argentina before coming to Wembley and losing again. A run they would be inclined to continue. Four without a win. Doesn't really happen to Brazil. Balotelli. Bonucci. Straight forward by Oscar towards Neymar. And uh, Fred and De Rossi have now clashed. Maybe inside the Italian half. And uh, as Cesare Prandelli looks on querying.ly He uh, has to establish where the fault lay. And he is taking Fred's name. Fred attempting to see the, uh, the funny side. He's been in decent nick for Brazil through their slightly thin days of late scored uh, their goal in defeat against Argentina and indeed in defeat against England at Wembley. Bonucci. One by Giaccarini and hit by Montalivo. A fair way off target. And then Montalivo in his first season uh, since leaving the beautiful city of Florence for Milan. Third in the Serie A just now. Really competing with Napoli for second place. Juventus way out clear at the top.
Shakarini. Free kick against him. Even the stewards in their luminous jackets look as though they're Brazil supporters. Luis Dante. Sally. Pirlo. Pozzali alongside Bellucci, forming an all Juventus centre half pairing, and even in the absence through injury of Chiellini. Taken away from Balotelli by Luis, who's uh, all too aware of the threat he poses from their time together in the English Premier League. De Rossi, Ciccarini, Bonucci, Balotelli, De Rossi. Oh, can't be dealt with first by Hulk and then Felipe Luis, and now Hulk can run away with it. And feed it in for Fred. He's got support galloping up in the person of Danny Alves. Alves and Oscar right across the face. Some of the best football Brazil have played, but without a finish yet. Hernanes. Fernando. Alves. Cleared by Montalivo. Pirlo. Osvaldo. Taking on Dante. Came out to Pirlo. Who's uh, passed for Osvaldo from the uh, Roma number 10 coming back from an offside position? Neymar, lots and lots of space here for Hulk. They look to uh, wrap it in towards the instep of Fred. It broke for Felipe Luis, and it's come to Fred! And Brazil lead! Crisp, close-range volley. And for the third international running, it is Fred who breaks through for Brazil. And once more, their global support dances its delight. Initially lifted in by Felipe Luis, it got a fortuitous touch at the near post. And it was wrapped in with power to add at the back post by the man from Fluminese. 
Really good clean finish. And the five times world champions lead the four times world champions just after half an hour. games without a win Brazil Italy themselves are two without a win they lost against France in Parma just before Christmas and they required a very late equalizer in Amsterdam to draw with the Dutch last month so as they build towards the World Cup finals next year they would hope for a turn of fortunes here for them in the very short term this is uh, a preparatory fixture for next week's World Cup qualifier against Malta, which ought to be a given. <laughs> Having to uh, hurry outside of his penalty area in the face of Hulk. Scolari would love to get that first win back. On the ground, actually, where he has managed before. It's a uh, venue. The 2008 European Championships. This and uh, his Portugal team won a couple of games here against uh, Turkey and the Czech Republic. Given away by Pirlo. Most unlike him. Slightly presumptuous to be talking in terms of Prendelli's team as if they were certain to be at the next World Cup finals. Let's have another look at the goal that they have conceded. It's uh, Benucci who gets that inadvertent nudge on in the middle. And Fred who finishes it. Italy are top of their World Cup qualifying group, 10 points from four games played. Already four points clear of Bulgaria. Czech Republic a little further back. So there's every reason to suppose that Italy will win their group. Brazil was not having to qualify as hosts. And so it's uh, one showpiece friendly after another for them. And here they come once more with Hulk. Holding towards Neymar. He appreciates the idea. after the uh, last World Cup. He took his team to the final of the European Championships last year. To uh, great public acclaim in Italy, where uh, three tournament expectations hadn't been especially high. Did a very good job in Poland and the Ukraine. And, uh, but ultimately, they were well beaten by Spain in the final. Here's Giacarini. And Balotelli. Good distance on the parry from Julio Cesar. He's had an immaculate game up to now. Some ground in the first 40 minutes down that right side for Italy. Now 
from the left, the uh, less experienced Dushilio. Zayi, Giacarini, Reggio, De Rossi. Away. Oh, oh, oh. Balotelli, smart pass, Montalivo. Came back out to Jacarini, and now Pirlo shapes his shot just wide. Joe Pirlo has one touch to the left full back on the floor. With his striking touch just clearing the far post. Winning tonight his 96th cap for Italy. Servant of his nation, he has been. <laughs> Neymar, clever return ball from Fred. Neymar, in goes Hernanes, De Chilio certainly made contact, whether it was legitimate is a uh, topic for some debate. Sure, the uh, retreating Italian, I suspect Scolari agrees, really had much intention ever to play the ball there. He appeared to play the man. Fred one way, Oscar the other. He's played in Oscar. Glorious finish. Beautiful, almost archetypal Brazilian goal. Buffon helpless. Italy two behind. Smart, penetrative passing. A composed, gliding finish from Chelsea's Oscar. Coming in off the right and with the outside of his right. Delivering Brazil's second goal of the night. Coming together for Scolari, back in the hottest of all managerial hot seats. Fifth international goal for Oscar in just 14 international appearances. He scored a couple early season against uh, Iraq in Malmo. So many of these show games that uh, Brazil play are on neutral venues. a beautiful pass from Neymar for Oscar to cunningly disguised and 
facing me into the instep. And for Oscar, who attempts to find the Samba beat. And, uh, appears only to find ridicule from Neymar. So what have Italy got now? Jaccarini, Maggio, bit of space for him. Osvaldo through the middle and Balotelli aimed at Osvaldo. Oh, Julio Cesar was scampering across his goal there. Looking to scratch it away. Oh, just got a finger on it. Necessarily or otherwise. Certainly changed the direction of the ball. This first referee brings the first half to a conclusion. And what a very watchable event it has been. Predictably so, two really attractive teams who've passed with plenty of invention. Brazil, though, worthy of their two-goal lead, given them by Fred soon after the half-hour and Oscar three minutes before the break. They look as though they are right back on song. Brazil, as we know them, Brazil 2, Italy 0 at half time in Geneva. So welcome back to Geneva, where Italy, trailing by a couple of goals to nil, have made two half-time changes. Alessandro Sassi has uh, come on in place of Andrea Pirlo in midfield. And as you saw there, Stefan Al-Sharawi has replaced Pablo Osvaldo in attack. Two alterations then for Prandelli, none for Scolari. In a city where Brazil have thrived in the past. Brazil played here in the 1954 World Cup and beat Mexico 5-0 in Geneva. More recently, they played a friendly here against New Zealand in the June of 2006 and won that 4-0. And 2-0 up against very high-ranked opponents here. Indeed, opponents ranked higher even than themselves. Italy fifth in the world right now. Brazil, notionally, 18th. They're certainly not playing like it. Have a very good recent record against uh, Italy. Who haven't beaten them in the last five meetings since that standout game of the uh, 1982 World Cup in Barcelona. And, uh, Italy won 3-2. Rossi's hat trick against uh, Socrates and Falcao goals for Brazil. Their last meeting prior to this was in the uh, Confederations Cup in South Africa in Pretoria, 2009. And Brazil won that 3-0. A couple of goals from Luis Fabiano. He's not involved today. Here's Neymar, who was certainly involved to very good effect in the first half. And is uh, right back in amongst it again. And it broke for Hernanes, who tried to slip in Hulk. That's an important read by De Rossi. Moving by Jacarini now for the first time, Sassi. Who's uh, had uh, a very good season with Torino in uh, Serie A. The uh, substitute, Torino, 
mid table 12th in uh, Serie A. Pops out seven pair a couple of times and does like to take on a full back and often goes beyond him. As you see, he's a juggler. Bonucci. Jesse. And into uh, Ananes. Stayed down. Not physically for something from the referee, something that wasn't forthcoming. Barzali. Jesse. Giaccarini, Montalivo, away by Luis. And here comes Oscar. Was a smooth goal shortly before half time, doubled the Brazilian lead. Montalivo's indiscretion. Not his first. Neymar. Poked through for Fred. Felipe Luis. And now it's good ball. Dani Alves. Not by a diving Bonucci. Taken up by Montalivo. That's found by Hulk. Between two defenders, arching his header over. So five goals for Italy to this point. Mario Balotelli, of which four, oddly enough, were scored in Poland. One in a friendly in 2011 in the opening of one of the new Polish stadia ahead of the European Championships. Ireland in Poznan, two against Germany in the semi-final of the Euros. His most recent Italian goal though was against Denmark in the uh, San Siro in October in World Cup qualifying. Denmark play the Czech Republic tomorrow in Prague in the uh, key game in the qualifying group would be in Europe. Deserves better attention than that. I'm not sure it is a statement at the game's intent, uh, the game's expense. Hopefully the second half hasn't begun 
quite as explosively as the first half did when in, inside the first five minutes both goalkeepers were called upon to make pretty sharp saves. Balotelli, nicely done, Montalivo. And Shirawi. And against Barcelona. And Shirawi against Dani Alves. Said that in a very recent past in the European Champions League. Balotelli, what a clever touch. Al Shirawi ran out of pitch. Could get a corner. Actually, very much signalling that uh, they don't feel they're out of this contest just yet. And sure are we giving Italy new legs? And it's top goal by De Rossi. And Italy are right back in it. Daniele De Rossi with little more than a twitch on the edge of the six-yard box with wrong-footed Julio Cesar. Truth be told, it wasn't a great corner from Al Sharawi. But De Rossi threw out a boot in front of Dante. And it was enough to divert it home for Italy. Who have more than a foothold now. It's a contest which is alive and well and could very easily still go either way. From a neutral perspective, perhaps just what the game required. Neymar pretty uh, forcefully sent spinning by Barzagli. making the case on behalf of his fellow centre-half. Wasn't quite as forceful as Neymar made it look. Which is perhaps the point Prandelli is making in the ear of the uh, assistant. Once upon a time, this would have been the territory of Roberto Carlos, not so long ago. These days there's a fresh young queue. There's a part of which will certainly be Neymar. Hulk has come away from it. Luis not too far away. It is Neymar. And it's touched second time before he had a decent view. Balotelli's bolt from the blue. 
He cannot help scoring. In the purple patch, he currently relishes. And he hasn't scored many better than that. In the colours of Milan or Italy. Or indeed anyone else. A Balotelli butte. And within 12 minutes of the start of the second half, Italy have reduced a two-goal deficit against Brazil to nothing. Fernando. Hulk. Receiving now from Neymar. Good challenge from De Rossi. Cecilio. Who goes to Rossi? And draws a foul, and the Brazilians are looking a little rattled. <laughs> Gloriously shaped goalward by Balotelli. And how proud Prandelli must be of this fight back. There aren't many who go two down to Brazil and find a way back into the game. Felipe Luis, the touch from Fred. And through goes Neymar, and here is Holt onside, and he left the ball behind. Well, you just don't know what's going to happen next in this now. Jacarini, Montalivo, Al Sharawi. De Rossi, Montalivo, Jacarini. Montalivo, De Rossi, De Chilio, taken away by Dani Alves. It's emergency from Brazil now, and there is movement on their bench. Kaká maybe with us shortly. Meantime, here's Oscar and Hulk. Driven against Maggio. On back by Fernando. Oscar, Dani Alves, Oscar, Fred. This time it was Buffon scampering across goal. And they've had the ball and found some rhythm in their passing Brazil. They've been uh, easy on the eye as ever. Well, be that that was uh, Oscar's last contribution. First, the corner before the change, Neymar's ball in. Neymar's away from Maggio. Neymar's long over and wide. That's a lovely passing movement. For Scolari's team involving Oscar, who uh, scored their splendid second goal just before half time. But who now gives way to uh, Kaka. 
Nick Ford, as I mentioned in the first half, to uh, donning the yellow again. At his home ground of Stamford Bridge, Chelsea, on Monday when Russia come calling. So Kaka comes on to win his 86th cap. His uh, international career somewhat reborn over the course of this European season. Problem for Maggio. Uh, shown to Hernanes for that challenge. That one looks like uh, a club issue, that Lazio against Napoli. A little uh, sly smile off the back of it. Montalivo. Cersei. Jacarini, Cersei, Montalivo, that's got a deflection and comes to Balotelli! Denied by Julio Cesar and away by Adanes. Came back to Maggio. Out by Dante. Dani Alves. And now for the first time, Kaka. Could so easily have turned from 0 2 to 3 2 in Italy's favour. Balotelli saw the whites of the goalkeeper's eyes. Julio Cesar stood his ground. Fred. It's a uh, really encouraging debut for the uh, full Italian national team. Selected for this team, whereas uh, David Santon, who has previously been capped, the uh, Newcastle player, is in the under-21 party this week with Italy. Shaccarini. He denied access to the penalty area by uh, Felipe Luis. Dani Alves. Casilio backpedaling. Alves saw Neymar. So Barzani saw the danger. Telling. An imprecise pass, pounced upon by Felipe Luis. Kaka. Hulk. Changing with Fred. They're going rather too willingly to ground. A shot which became quite a pass for Balotelli, who was onside. So Julio Cesar closed down his target area pretty swiftly. of Neymar. It could be a brave man or woman who uh, hinted at the likelihood of no further goals in this game. 
There's a lovely fresh openness about it. Precious little caginess. To Rossi. Let's go by Montalivo. And taken up by Tashilio. Montalivo's got a corner for Italy. Very first chance to, to Giacarini, Polly of uh, Sampdoria, whose only cap was uh, a second half appearance against England in Bern, Switzerland, very early this season. And no sooner does he come on, and uh, Italy are carving out another great chance. Bonucci's header right across the face. chance that was to establish a lead for the Italians the changes keep on coming Fred has got his now customary goal and uh, he has replaced up front for Brazil by uh, Diego Costa of uh, Atletico Madrid who's in uh, pretty good club form hence this international debut his first cap in the famous yellow Atletico just one point behind Real Madrid in uh, La Liga right now. And Costa scored twice for them at uh, Osasuna last Sunday. Here's Balotelli. Al Sharawi. He has to uh, surrender a throw. Oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, no. oh, by uh, Felipe Luis. He's yellow carded for it. There's three Brazilians in the book. For a friendly, to see how many yellow cards. Goal for Italy tonight. So, Foot of away possession there. Hernanes, Hulk, Felipe Luis, Neymar. Hulk went 
Silva, but had no uh, sympathy from officialdom. Menez went in hard at the back of Balotelli, who is advised not to retaliate. And Anes would be well advised not to make that sort of challenge because he is one of those who has been booked. Skating on very thin ice now. Sorry, would presumably uh, be cognizant of that disciplinary danger. Uh, might here mark uh, Hernanes as the next player to come off if he is going to deploy all of his available substitutes. Sessi. Fernando. Kaka. Hernanes. season well did uh, Holt who plays his cup football in Russia now three goals in the autumn games Italians, Matteo Cascilio, having uh, must be considered a really upbeat, encouraging debut. He's replaced by uh, Genoa's Luca Antonelli, for whom this may feel like a debut. It isn't quite. He does have a couple of previous caps, but this is his first international call-up for three years. Stolen niftily so that uh, Balotelli can look to probe. Ending it to Pauli. Dante is across the cover. And Sampdoria man freshly into the game. Losing a danger in by Cersei, away by Dante. Here's De Rossi. For the first time, Antonelli. Montalivo. Barzali. Montalivo. Barzali. Polly. Balotelli. Nicely spread for Cersei. Spooned up over the bar. Julio Cesar looking exposed again and exasperated again. What a key intervention by uh, Dante who flung himself at that. Balotelli looked favourite to score. The Bayern Munich centre half threw his frame in the way. Well worked out by Kaka. Now Diego Costa. Neymar. Holt. It's not working out for him in the box at the moment. Hernanes. Felipe Luis. This week. Looking 
pretty fed up. Nice kick of the ball for uh, Felipe Luis, who is going to be replaced by a more familiar fullback. And uh, Real Madrid's Marcello. Challenge from Maggio, and the card is out. He's the first Italian in the book. He with the back of Neymar's shirt, and then clattered him across the ankles too. Just two. Polk and Hernanez behind the ball. Tony and Cersei in front of it. Flung in by Hulk and uh, grabbed hold of by Buffon. And De Rossi has evidently been done some damage. It may be that uh, in falling on the ball he did. The damage to his teammate there, Buffon. See how this came about. And actually, uh, De Rossi in retreat fell over Dante. There, and yes, crashed into Buffon. whether it was friend or foe who actually uh, affected the injury that's discomforting him most. So given that there are six substitutes available, it seems likely that he will be changed and certainly that is the indication. Well, it's a great game to enjoy. We can get 30,000 into this ground, there aren't quite that many. But uh, those who are here are being served up a very good festive sort of a game. Fernando. Italian change. Tomasi's uh, replacement is uh, the attacking one. And, uh, Alessandro Diamanti, these days of Bologna. This is the site that will go down very well. And the uh, Roma dressing room. Uh, Key midfield man Daniele De Rossi injured in a friendly match. That's nearly got there first. And Luis surrendered the corner. Last 10 minutes of a thoroughly engaging contest, which has included some smashing goals. Diamante's take, Cersei, looking for something spectacular to set amongst the other gems. Alternative, perhaps rehearsed corner.
Hernandez. Tucked back by Pauli, and uh, he is booked. Again, of this type. So both sides have evidently wanted to win. And it's on the receiving end this time. And Brazil, who are making their fourth substitution now, and withdrawing Hulk. Balotelli has scored one of the uh, finest goals of his career so far tonight. And he is replaced by uh, Alberto Giladino. Not sure whether that Brazilian change did actually occur. We shall see. I hope he's still there. Place Holt, but uh, he carries on at least for the time being. Here's Antonelli. Spooned high by Diamante. And hit by Al Sharawi White. And Julio Cesar has been. Uh, much more active, certainly in the second half. Uh, would have wanted, and uh, oh, sure, oh, we had a fair target area there and to take his shot on the run. In the case of uh, Hulk, who is now finally removed, it is uh, Jean, another from Fluminense, the 2012 champions of Brazil. Six-year-old recently joined those champions from uh, Sao Paulo. Marcelo, Neymar, tackle from Maggio. In goes Marcelo again. He's freed Neymar. It's, uh, hit on the run. His first touch by Ojol. That kindly from the point of view of Shan Luigi Buffon. Club goals this season for Atletico Madrid. Outgoing champions of the Europa League, they lost to Ruben Kazan of uh, Russia just recently. Hernanes. Chaka, Neymar. Marcelo. Nearly came back out for Neymar. Retrieved by Kaká. He's got his free kick. Another foul by Montalivo. Actually, in fact, there have been five bookings. He's lucky to have uh, seen the yellow a couple of times, actually. Kaká said flying. Another familiar to... Uh, Italians in particular, after his uh, stay years in Milan. Yes, and Neymar again. Three and a half minutes to play. Game right on the edge. Fabulous contest. Is there one last twist? Neymar, another plain one into the wall. Right. Right. And it's 
of the uh, football generational scale. Neymar and uh, Gilardino, who's just come on. So in his 49th cap tonight. So he since he scored an international goal, actually. And he's due one. Uh, big striker currently with Bologna. And then from Genoa. Tolly. Gino battling for it with Dante, and the free kick is given Italy's way for Dante's flailing limb. And Prandelli's team snatch it. Dante hits a sweet dead ball, and is one of those lining up. Is Alessandro Diamante. Oh, goodness me. Let's bounce back down off the moon. Oh, really, he's uh, infuriated with himself and his uh, boss doesn't look entirely thrilled. So just more than a minute to play, on top of which the word from the line is three minutes stoppage time. Chased up by David Luiz. Bit of space now for Dani Alves. He teases Antonelli. And then lifts his uh, cross beyond Kaká. So that Italy can now counter with Pauli. Going back for Kaká by Marcelo. for Neymar, who holds off Maggio, Marcelo against Pauli, bullied by Kaka, fouled by Kaka. And uh, one more Brazilian change, perhaps to save Hernanes from himself. Uh, he's in the book and he's not holding back. And he's replaced by another from Bayern Munich, Luis Gustavo. Just a third cap for him too. And Ramirez tonight for Brazil. He should be back. Chelsea against uh, Russia on Monday. Fernando, Luis Gustavo, Marcelo. Luis, Dani Alves. The turn pass is over hit from Jean.
Montalivo. Chassis. Oh, clever. And then held up by Luis Gustavo. He's only just come on. It wasn't for being passed. And this is likely to be the last offensive set piece of the game. And those Brazil followers have one last anxious moment. Not that they really do anxiety. They're here to enjoy it. And it's been a very enjoyable football match. But there might just be one last event in it to savour. Diamante's free kick. Chased down by Polly. It's come out for Marcelo. The scheduled stoppage time is up. The game is over. And they'll settle for that. Certainly the public in Geneva will settle for that because they've been spoilt by a really most enjoyable contest which has included a couple of truly memorable goals. Brazil two to the good at half-time through Fred and deliciously through Oscar but uh, Italy came out with renewed vigour in the second half and themselves scored a couple of terrific goals De Rossi's with a little twitch from a set piece and then Balotelli with a glorious hit from a long long way out both of these great football nations still await their first victories of the calendar year 2013 but each looks relatively satisfied with the final score here in Le Stade de Genève of Brazil 2, Italy 2.